my guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. Today's video, we're gonna do a what's in my diaper bag infant. Now, I've done a what's in my diaper bag a few months back when Grayson was a newborn, um, and since he's gotten so much bigger, um, not a whole lot has changed, but um, it has changed a little bit, and definitely how I use the diaper bag has changed. Um, so here's just a quick update for you. First of all, I don't carry this diaper bag with me everywhere I go. Um, in fact, uh, it pretty much stays in the car all the time. Um, I bring it in the house maybe once a week or so um, just to refill it and make sure everything is in there. Um, but I leave it in the car so we have everything we need while we're out and about. Um, so let's take a look. We'll start with these front pockets here. Again, um, I use the Skip Hop. Um, diaper bag. This was a gift from our baby shower. Um, it came from our Babies R Us registry. So in this big front pocket here, I keep, so we have some petroleum jelly, some hand sanitizer, butt paste, Um, a couple samples of diaper rash ointment, just in case, and oh, another sample, and some baby lotion. So right now the petroleum jelly is probably one of the most used um, because all three kids are sick and their noses are all raw um, and their lips are chapped so they're constantly reaching in this bag while we're out and about to put it um, on their nose um, and then of course we have the hand sanitizer which I just noticed it has like little I don't know if you can see that it has like little it's not focusing ah, sorry guys it has like little blue balls in it weird anyways I just picked this up from the the dollar store it was like a three pack um, so we kind of keep them all around in the diaper bags in a couple of the other cars um, and then we have some in the house as well. And then obviously the baby lotion um, and the butt paste, just in case, because you never know when you're gonna need it or where you'll be. So, I don't think I have anything in this pocket. Yeah, this one is just kind of a, a short little pocket. I don't keep anything in there right now. The next pocket is like a little snap enclosure. I love these because they're not they're not attached to the panel um, of the pocket, so you can get your finger back behind it to snap it. I don't know, it's the little things. I love that. So here I have some lotion for me. And then just some snack for the older kids. Just some little granolas, nut bars, things like that. I think that's all that's in here. Yep, yeah, and there's, I mean, there's another zipper pocket in here that's pretty good size. I don't have anything in that right now. So that's that. That's our snack pocket. Um, I do also, um, if we're taking a longer trip or something, I, I will put my cell phone um, and chargers and stuff. Any, any of our electronic stuff will go in this pocket, um, but none of that is in here right now because we're not going in a long trip. Um, I am gonna skip over that big pocket for just a second and switch over to the other side. So this back pocket, um, I have the changing pad that came with it, an extra packet of wipes, and some birthday cake gum. Um, this I think is an addition from one of the girls. <laughs> I don't think I put that in there. And that's that. That's that for that pocket. We'll put this up in the snack pocket. The side pocket, so this pocket is kind of like my bottle pocket. Um, I keep a bottle of water, room temperature bottle of water. These pockets are insulated here on the side, but I just keep room temperature. Um, and then a four ounce bottle kind of ready to go. I will always keep one of these in here just because you never know if you are I mean, I always will bring bottles with us if I know we're going to be out during his um, feeding times, but 
you just never know if there's a longer line somewhere or traffic or whatever. So I always keep um, a bottle ready to go in here. And over on the other side, a bigger package of wipes. I never want to be anywhere without wipes, so good luck. Okay, big pocket. This is my baby Catan. He's starting to get a little bit big, but he still fits in it. He likes riding around in this, so I keep this in here all the time. We've got a couple or cloths, and these are just the, you know, they're cotton cloth diapers, but this is what we use for burp cloths most of the time. So I've got a couple of those in here. I've got a hat because it's getting real sunny, real warm here pretty quick. So I'm um, keep a hat in here. And it's still pretty chilly in the mornings. I think it's going down, it's still like in the 40s or so in the morning. So I have um, an extra jacket. A couple more birth cloths. And honestly, these are not all for Grayson. <laughs> um, the the older kids, I feel like they use these even more than Grayson does, and Grayson uses them quite a bit. But um, you know, I feel like I'm constantly reaching for them, like Madison's um, spilling something in the back seat or whatever. I, I think all of the kids use these. That's why we kind of keep so many of them. So there's four burp cloths there. Um, a little hat. He's not wearing this anymore, unfortunately, because it's so warm out now, but I just love this, and I think it was so cute on him. So anyways, it's still in the bag. I haven't taken it out. I'm in denial. I keep thinking it's still going to get cold. It's only February, right? It's not summer yet, so maybe, maybe it'll still get cold, and I can still put this on him a little bit longer. Um, I've got a couple toys, a little texture ball, and his keys. And then a little change of clothes. So he's got a little pair of pants, the little foxes on the feet, and his little fox t-shirt. We've got some socks. He's always pulling his socks off, and I remember this with the other kids too. They always are pulling their socks off, so every time we get somewhere, he's, I'm either missing one or both. So always an, an extra pair of socks in here, and I feel like I used to have like two or three, so we're down to one. I better put some more in here. Um, and then, of course, some diapers, his size two diapers. We've got a mix of the Huggies and Costco brand. I love them all the same. So we've got that. And then some, oh, his little sock rattles. He really likes these. If he starts to get bored in the car, I mean, obviously I have a couple toys, but he loves these rattles, so I'll just stick them on his hands. Um, and now that he's found his, his feet, I'll put them on his toes, and he just it cracks them up. Um, and then, of course, pacifiers. And I usually have two or three. I only have one in here right now, and that's because I am... Uh, I'm washing all of them and sterilizing them all because he's been sick. Um, I am just trying to clean everything. So these things have all been washed and added back to the bag. The pacifiers are still um, getting sterilized. So just one in there for right now. And that's that, guys. That is everything in my diaper bag right now. Um, and again, I, I don't carry this with me all the time. If I am it's always in the car, so it is technically always with me, um, but with Grayson getting um, so much bigger and everything else that we're lugging around, um, I just find it kind of inconvenient to to actually carry it into like all the stores and into friends' houses and restaurants. Um, it's kind of bulky and takes up a lot of space, so I don't carry it with me. I keep it in the car. Um, in my purse, which I will do a what's in my purse video, um, I do keep um, a few odds and ends. I, I keep one of these lightweight burp cloths, um, a couple little toys, a couple diapers, and a small package of wipes, um, and some pacifiers. So the essentials I, I will keep in that bag uh, just in case I need them. Um, but everything else is in here, so it's nearby, but not necessarily on my shoulder all the time. So that's that. That's what's in my diaper bag. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next Monday. Bye, guys.